Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to make paths or create lines to create starbursts or bus routes or even networking connections. I've got the data set already built up. We're first going to look at planets. I have the data here. I have the planet and the sun, the XY coordinate. The path is going to be um, this is one path, this is another, and then the order. That's the key for all of these paths and lines I'm going to be showing you. You have an X and a Y coordinate. Oftentimes this is latitude and longitude. You're going to have a, a path or a bus route or a grouping, and then the order that those dots are supposed to connect. We'll start with planets. Always bring the X over, then the Y to get a scatter plot. It's only showing one data point, but we're going to come up here. We're going to take off the aggregate measures. Now we're going to bring over the F3. If you remember, this is the order. And, oh, first thing we need to do is change this to line. Don't worry about it. It doesn't look quite like we want it. Bring over the order. It still looks a little bit goofy, and the reason why is because we haven't identified which data points are linked together. Bring over path under details, and that's what we were looking for. There's the beginning of your starburst. Very limited data. If you have a larger data set, you'll have more data points. Same variation on the theme. This is actually dealing with networking. We've got the name of the people we want to network, the name or the, the location, if we're driving places, an XY coordinate. For networking, that doesn't quite work as well. Then the order, this is really important because this will tell us which order we go in. We're first going to the house, then the temple, then work, and then the store. And then this is the grouping. So come back up here, we're gonna to go to XY. You've got one data point, so you're going to turn this off of aggregates. I'll show you here in a second what that does. Now we're going to move to the order. Oh, I once again forgot we need to change this to a line chart. So we have a line. I'm going to move this to the order now. It looks a little screwy because we haven't told Tableau which groups, which order applies to which dots. So we're going to bring the line number over to details. Now, if you want, so now you've got the shapes or the lines that we were expecting. If you want, you could bring that over to color too, but we won't do that. Let me show you what happens when you take off aggregate. You have just one line. And the reason you only have one line is because the sort order is at the sum. Now, if you bring the name of the person over to details, now you've got that sh same shape. By adding enough details, we're able to get the dots separated enough that Tableau can process them. Last point, this is the bus routes. Quickly again, X, Y coordinates. If you had bus stops, this would be a great time to put in longitude, latitude. It would plot on a city graph. It'd look really nice. You have the name, oh, sorry. Got to change the data source. Still have the X and the Y. This is the stop. Here's the bus route. You can see we've got three different bus routes and we've added the order that the buses, the stops come in. So we'll come over to bus routes. X, Y, and we're going to turn to only one data point. Let's take off the aggregate. A lot of different data points now. And we've got to change this to line chart. Doesn't look right. We're going to bring in the order that the dots are supposed to, stops are supposed to go in. Still doesn't look like because it's crossing over each other. Now if we bring in the bus line, that's the number one or the number four, or the number five. Drag that to details. And now we've got, you can bring it over to color as well. And now you can see that we have three simple bus routes.
Remember, X and Y, turn off the aggregate measures, then put in the order, and then put in the bus line or enough details that you can get the dots, the order lined up with the right dots. Simple, it's a little intimidating, but if you just follow those key reminders, X and Y, turn off the aggregate, put in the order, and then the group that you want that order to apply to, and you should be just fine.